Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and I welcome you back today for Concealed Carry Tips, episode number seven. We're going to talk about three different tips today, and the first one is that if you're going to carry when it's dark, you should think about trying to add a light somewhere to your setup. If you're mostly out during the day, not a big deal, but if you know that you're going to be out at night, try the best you can to add a light somewhere to your setup. I have found that to be difficult as a female uh, just because there's not a lot of places to put lights but if it's possible for you to put a light on your body if you're going to carry at night do it you could misunderstand a situation in the dark so you want to make sure that if you're going to aim your gun at anything you need to be able to see it so having night sights isn't good enough because that doesn't illuminate your target so if you're going to carry in the dark make sure that you have a light Tip number two is make sure that your concealment method for the day is not going to interfere with the tasks that you have to do that day. This is probably more geared toward people who change up the way they carry. Men typically carry the same way all the time because their clothing doesn't really change much. But for us ladies, uh, depending on what kind of outfits we're doing or what kind of tasks we're, we're going to be doing, we may carry in a different place. For instance, if I'm going to be sitting all day long, for instance, on a long trip driving in a car, I'm not going to carry in a belly band because that's uncomfortable. If I'm going to be singing, I'm not going to carry in a belly band because I want to be able to expand my lungs without any kind of restriction there. Um, if I'm, you know, going to be working on the floor a lot, like, you know, I'm, I don't like to mop. I like to get on the floor on my hands and knees and scrub my floors. If I'm going to do that, then I may not carry below my knee like I would on other days. So make sure that you think forward through the things that you have to do that day and make sure that your concealment method doesn't interfere. The last tip for today is probably more geared toward the ladies. If you're carrying in a place where the wind could uncover your gun, be sure to think about the weather. I'm not one who likes to check the weather. My husband usually checks the weather because he's a motorcyclist and he always knows what the weather's going to be, so I usually just ask him. But there have been times when I've been caught unprepared because of weather. I'll just give you an example. I was walking downtown with my daughter, put her in the stroller, was going to walk downtown, and I was carrying in a skirt, a long flowy skirt, below my right side knee. And it was very windy, and when I got between the buildings downtown, the wind gusted and threw my skirt up high enough not to expose my, you know, my body parts, but high enough to expose my gun. Now, I'm not one that would freak out over that, but other people might freak out over it. And if I'm going to conceal, then I should make sure that my gun stays concealed. Uh, it, I didn't let it, you know, freak me out. I just walked back to the car, changed the location, everything was cool. But had I known that it was gusty and windy, then I would have just prepared before I got out of my car rather than being out in public and having that happen. So, you know, you might be in an area where people might really freak out. So. Just a thought. I hope that the concealed carry tips for today have helped you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode. God bless.